Hello everybody, welcome to our Friday forecast. Before we look ahead to this weekend, I just want to take a moment and celebrate what took place um, last weekend here within our Journey Church family. It's, sometimes it's interesting that we look at the attendance of what's going on within our worship services, but when you really take a broader look and go up a little higher, you realize there is so much more going on. And last weekend was a great example. I think about um, a week ago on Friday, the marriage care ministries held a big night out. I think we had about 30 or so couples out. And if you haven't yet attended one of those, plan on the next big night out, which will be coming in the new year. Uh, we also had uh, people uh, take part in the Pregnancy Resource Fall Benefit Dinner. Uh, at the Pregnancy Resource Center uh, Benefit Dinner, we, um, I was invited to be the guest speaker. Bruce Fawcett was the master of ceremonies, and we saw lots of other Journey Church people uh, there as well. And then, of course, there was the Legs for Literacy event. Christine Haley uh, put together a running team, and uh, the project that they were sponsoring uh, was associated with World Vision, I believe, in women and literacy. And again, I just want to uh, encourage uh, Christine and all the team, teammates well done in that effort. So again, that, that all took place plus um, our three worship services as well. So again, uh, Journey Church uh, is always out and about and a lot bigger than just what we see necessarily at one worship service. You know, one other thing I always wanna celebrate that just took place just this past Wednesday night, um, we had a number of youth do what was called a trick or eat, where flyers had been distributed the week before and Kids went out among the neighborhood in the west end of Moncton and uh, collected food. And I believe the exact number is 378 pounds of food were, were collected. So uh, congratulations to all the youth who uh, gave leadership to that. Now, as we look ahead to this coming weekend, just before I talk about a couple of the events, I just want to just highlight for a second what's behind me here. This We're at our Allison campus of the Journey Church. and. This is where out here in our Welcome Center, we have our hospitality area where people can come as they enter in and get coffee, tea, juice, um, and usually something, a little bite to eat, just to again create some connection and fellowship. Uh, actually, we've been experimenting here at the Allison campus. We've been moving it around inside our worship center. Now we're trying it out here, and that seems to be working nicely. We also just want to remind you, if you do come to our Allison campus, we now have our children sign up uh, inside the worship center where all the children need to be signed in. Now, again, as we think about connection, just want to remind you that um, if you aren't part of our email, church-wide email that we, we send out every week that highlights all what's going on in the life of our church and what's going on in the wider uh, church community or other events that are related to our Christian work. Um, again, please sign up. Let us know that you'd like to get that church-wide email. And if you've been getting it, don't, don't delete it. Uh, just click it, take a look. It's in essence, it's your church bulletin for you uh, and you're getting it uh, on Friday. Um, Again, um, just want to look forward to this weekend as we continue our Ephesians series. Uh, this is our Bible project, and as we're looking at this book, can I encourage you that this week, um, read chapter 3. Our focal verses are from verses 16 to 19, and our memory verse is verse 17. Uh, the whole idea this week is all around the idea of love first that ultimately it's when we center and deeply root our lives in the love of God that everything else starts to fall in place. And yet we have to really get our heads around what it means to know the love of God. Now, as I just wrap up here on this uh, Friday forecast, I want to remind you of a couple of things that are happening in the month of November that are really big. Uh, first of all, uh, on November the 8th, uh, the next weekend, we're having Pastor Carolyn's ordination service here Saturday night at the Allison campus of the Journey Church. Please plan on attending. Um, if you're part of our church family, this is a great celebration moment for our church as we celebrate um, Carolyn's call to pastoral ministry in a very uh, official way. And it's a time where friends and family are going to gather as well. Now, of course, then the next weekend, the middle of November, 
we have Mike Gartner coming. This is our major outreach. Again, our hope and prayer for you is that um, you are planning to come, but more than come and, and listen to Mike Gartner, a fine uh, athlete, obviously Hockey Hall of Famer, but also a fine Christian man. He is going to come and share that journey between hockey success and abiding faith in God. And we just think it's going to be a great time of interaction and engagement with him. Plan on bringing someone who you know either loves hockey or appreciates sports, or again, someone who just you think would be interested in coming. Uh, we're hoping to again, pack this place out on Friday, November the 14th. And there's the breakfast, of course, on Saturday morning, which you can buy a ticket for. Please plan on doing so uh, this coming weekend. Well, here again, we got a whole bunch of empty chairs, and there's empty chairs over at the Brentwood campus. Our prayer is, is that this coming weekend, as we gather together to hear God's word and also uh, celebrate the Lord's Supper, that it will be a time that we really understand and grasp how deep and how wide and how high the love of God is for all of us. God bless you.